I'm Courtney Silva with Salient Process, and I'm going to go over the BPM file uploader, BPM file drop zone, and the BPM file list content controls. The BPM file uploader and BPM file list are available in both our community and enterprise editions of the Spark Toolkit, and the BPM file drop zone is available in our enterprise edition of the Spark Toolkit. The BPM file uploader and BPM file drop zone will retrieve the file you've selected and store it on your configured enterprise content management server, IBM BPM document store, or IBM BPM content store. The IBM file list will list the files that have been uploaded using either the BPM file uploader or the BPM file drop zone. I've already created a coach, and now I'm going to go over the configuration options. So for the um, BPM file uploader, we have formula, the, uh, the doc title formula will allow you to rename the file you have uploaded. So just an example here, when we play this and I upload a file, it will change the name of that file to this. Now appearance, uh, color style, uh, default is gray, primary is a dark blue, info is a light turquoise blue, success green, warning is a light or a yellow orange, and danger is red. Uh, shape style, you can have it as default, rounded, or flat. Size style, default, large, small, extra small. Outline um, means that the control, or when when this is when outline is selected, it means that the control only shows its color-based style when hovered over. Um, icon, uh, it, you put the icon name here, um, and a list of icons can be found at fontawesome.io slash icons, so you can get the complete list of icon names that you can use. Uh, hide browse button, uh, this will hide the uploader control. Hide file name, this will hide the file name. Okay. And then under content management, um, associate with process instance. Uh, when selected, the documents to be uploaded will be associated with the current process instance. Otherwise, the document will not be associated with the current process instance. Upload properties. Uh, this specifies the matching properties to be uploaded with this document. Behavior auto upload. Um, when selected, files will be uploaded automatically. If not selected, you need to use the start upload method um, in the on file selected event. File types allowed. Pick a valid file type from the drop down here, or you can specify a custom uh, file type. Um, and then when empty, when there's nothing there, then any any file type is allowed. Now events, um, you can use JavaScript logic to affect the effects of the control. Um, and so for this example, on upload complete, I want my file list to be refreshed, so it'll list the file name. So I have this BPM underscore file underscore list one, because my file list control right here, the control ID is just that, BPM underscore file underscore list one, okay? So that is all the configuration for BPM file uploader. Now for the BPM file drop zone, we have appearance, um, show border. So when this is selected, it'll have a border. Um, when square border corners, when selected, it'll square the corners. Show thumbnails, when selected, the file that is uploaded will be shown as a thumbnail. Content management, um, it's the same as um, I discussed with the file uploader. Behavior, um, again, auto upload is the same. Uh, let's see, auto remove file, uploaded files. So when this is selected um, and the files are uploaded, they'll automatically be removed from the, the file drop zone. Max file size, you can set a maximum file size. 
and file types allowed, um, the same as the BPM file uploader. And, you, know, you can select from this list here, make a custom one if you like. Again, if it's blank, then any file is allowed. Okay. Um, events, again, you can affect the effects um, using JavaScript logic. And again, I'm doing the same thing here on upload complete. Um, when the upload is complete, the file list will be refreshed and it will, dis will display the, uh, the file. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the uh, file list. So we have con under content management, allow document deletion. So when this is selected, um, there'll, there will be a little X um, on the row so you can delete the, the file from the list. Um, confirm on deletion will there will be a, an alert um, that pops up to make sure that you want to delete the file. Max results, um, the maximum number of files that are listed per page. Show all versions. Uh, when selected, it will show all the file versions. Uh, associated with process instance, again, the same as the uh, BPM file uploader and BPM file drop zone. Um, you know, when selected, the documents will be uploaded to be uploaded will be associated with the current process instance, otherwise it will not be. Uh, match rule, uh, none, all properties or any property. Now columns here. Um, so under the columns, we have a label option, uh, which is a, it's a, a desired optional label for the column name. Field select um, from the drop down list of available options. So, for example, if you want the files in the list to show as thumbnails, you would select the uh, thumbnail option. Sortable, when selected, the column is sortable. Width, um, the width of the column can either be a percentage, percentage PX or EM. Options is the optional formatting using already created objects. So for example, here I'm saying that I want my date pattern to be um, year, month, and then day. And CSS is you can configure a specific column with styles. So for example, you could put white slash or white dash space um, colon no wrap if you wanted to. Events again. Um, so for this example, when uh, a file is deleted from the list, it will refresh, so the that row will delete. Okay, so let me play this for you. Okay, so you can see here this is our um, file uploader, and you can see since I selected outline, the uh, the color style will appear when I hover over the the file uploader. And this is the uh, file drop zone, and this is the BPM file list. So let me select a file. Okay. And so you can see, uh, since I had that um, doc title formula, it changed the file name to whatever I told it to. Okay, now let's now you can also, instead of dragging and dropping for the file drop zone, you can also click here, click on it, and uh, select a file. So you'll see it's a thumbnail, and it has the file name, the uh, modified, date modified here, again, the style that I wanted, uh, year, month, and then day, and then it has the size, and you can see here the deletion little X is here. Um, and then if I wanted to, say, drag and drop a file, um, you just drag and drop it. Okay, and then if I want to delete a file, I'll just click the X here. And since I selected the, uh, the um, you know, let me know when a file is deleted, it gives me an alert here. So, okay, yeah, I want to delete it. So then it refreshes and it deletes it from the list. Okay. 
So um, now I'm going to show you how to get more information on the Spark Toolkit. So you want to go to salientprocess.com and select support. And then select learn more about Spark Toolkits. And then you'll be taking, um, so there's a form here for you to fill out and someone will be in contact with you regarding the Spark Toolkit. Now, once you have access to the Spark Toolkit, you can browse our knowledge base um, information. So you can have, you'll have access to getting started with a, a lot of helpful articles and also all the controls have articles as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please contact us for more information on the Spark Toolkit. Thank you.